Hello everyone and welcome to my latest video. Today I'm excited to share a tutorial on downloading and installing the fantastic FSR3 mod, complete with a frame generator that can significantly boost your PC's gaming performance. The best part? This mod is compatible with any GPU. In this video, I'll guide you through the process quickly and efficiently, ensuring it's both informative and to the point. Stick around until the end, where I'll showcase the enhanced performance on my trusty old GTX 1660 Ti. So, without further ado, let's dive right in and get started on optimizing your gaming experience. To kick things off, our first step is to head over to Reddit. You can find the link conveniently located in the pinned comment below. Once you're on the Reddit page, you'll have access to a treasure trove of all the latest and updated mods released thus far. To access the download, you will need to access encrypt.toolpy.com. Copy and paste the codes presented on Reddit, press the decrypt text button and access the link. Now let's download and save it to your preferred location. Extract the contents of the downloaded file. Extract all the contents of the Potatoes back file to the folder where your game's executable is located. I will extract it to the Cyberpunk 2077 folder. Now let's install version 0.7.2 of the mod. Each file corresponds to a certain version of FSR. Cyberpunk 2077 uses FSR 2.1. Extract the content to the same location as the game executable. Let's locate the file that we unzipped at the beginning of the video, called Enable Signature Override. Click on it and add the necessary information to the Windows registry for the mod to work. Everything is ready, now just start the game. Select DLSS Super Resolution and turn on the DLSS Frame Generator option. I will also select the preset in Ultra Quality. Keep it selected now in FSR 2.1. This will improve the graphic quality, thus avoiding flickering objects on the screen. I'm going to create chaos in this area of the game to check how much my old GTX 1660 Ti can handle in Ultra Quality. The performance was incredible, without bugs or errors. Let's take a look at the performance of the game, Alan Wake 2 with the mod installed. DLSS in quality mode and frame generator activated with the game at maximum quality. Unfortunately, it is not possible to activate ray tracing. The result is incredible. I'm getting the same frame rate that I achieved on the low quality preset, 
Unfortunately, the mod is causing ghosting on the character and the interface. Let's test the forest area. Performance drops a lot here, but I can keep the frame rate above 50 FPS at maximum quality. Thank you so much to watch this video. If you liked what you saw, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate your support and it helps me to keep creating new content for you guys. I hope you'll join me on this journey and stay tuned for more.